Okay, this distribution is about a uniform distribution from 15 to 55. So remember, for uniform distribution, we can specify the entire distribution just by telling us, by, 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 uh, by specifying the starting point and the ending point of the distribution, right? Because we know that the area um, is going to be 1, so this distance is 40, Therefore, the height must be 1 over 40. Uh, and we want to, uh, we always want to label our axes. OK. Um, annual rainfall in inches. OK. So now we want to know the probability <coughs> that the annual rainfall for a year would be 50 inches or more. So we want the probability that x is more than or equal to 50. Okay, so the probability that x is more than 50 is just this sort of area here where this is 50, right? So um, obviously the probability is just the shaded area, so we just do 55 minus 50 times 1 over 40 for the probability, which is just equal to 0 0.125. Now, we want to assume that the annual rainfall is independent um, from year to year. So we want the probability that most one of the next 10 years will have an annual rainfall uh, 50 inches or more. At most one year in the next 10 we'll have 50 inches or more. So this just becomes a binomial distribution because basically we have n equals 10, right? So there's 10 chances for us to um, to have 50 inches or more of rain and p equals uh, 0 0.125, which I just erased, but it's okay. Um, Right, so because over here our answer is 0 0.125. So we have a binomial with these parameters. And we want to know uh, probability that y is less than or equal to 1, right? Because it's at most 1. So we can have 0 or 1 uh, years with 50 inches of rainfall, okay? So that equals, if you want to refer, if you want to look on the formula card, that's just the binomial random variable down here, right? So we want the probability where k equals 0 or k equals 1, 1 for our problem, right? n equals, again, n equals 10, um, because there's 10 chances. Okay, so going back, the probability that y is less than or equal to 1 equals probability of y equals 0 plus probability that y equals 1, which equals um, 10 choose 0, which is 1, times 0 0.125 to the 0th power times 0 0.875 to the 10th plus um, 10 choose 1, which is 10, uh, times 0 0.125 times 0 0.875 to the 9th which gives us a final answer of 0 0.6389, okay?